Names of Allah. Al Kafar. Al Kafar means all the all forgiving. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives all the bad things that we do when we turn to Him sincerely in repentance. Repentance. Even if our bad deeds are so many that they fill the whole world and we turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will still forgive us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, whoever commits an evil act or do, does wrong to himself and thereafter seeks the forgiveness of Allah will surely find to be the most forgiving, the most merciful. A Muslim should try his best to avoid sinning. If he um, sins, he must turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala immediately and seek forgiveness. While seeking forgiveness, one must make the intention not to commit that sin again. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to used to no so the Prophet sallallahu alaihi himself used to seek forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more than 70 times a day by doing this he has set an example for all Muslims that they should Allah, ask for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness there was once a man who killed 99 people he then felt really bad because of his all his good bad deeds and wanted to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in repentance. He looked for the wisest person and came to a monk. He asked the monk if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would forgive him. The monk said, never! This made the man very angry so he killed the monk too. Now he had killed a hundred people. He felt even worse than before and wanted to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for another chance. So again he looked for the wisest person on earth and came to a learned man he asked him the same question and the learned man told him that allah was subhanahu wa ta'ala would forgive him he also advised him to leave his land because it was a bad place and to go to another land where nearby where people worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the man set off on, but on the way he died both the angels of mercy and angels of punishment came to take his soul and began to argue with each other the angels of mercy said that he came out of the area seeking forgiveness the angels of punishment said that the man had killed a hundred people and deserved to be punished Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told them to measure how far he was from two places if he was nearer to his home then the angels of punishment would take him however if he was nearer to where he was going then the angels of mercy would take him Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was so merciful that he ordered the earth to become closer to the land to which he was going when the angels measured the distances they found him nearer to the place where he was going so the angels of mercy took him and he was forgiven forgiven Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves to forgive and this story shows how much he loves forgiveness